everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a show me your dent tag video. Now, this tag was started by the gorgeous Kia from Yummy411. She makes videos on perfumes and she's so sweet and so supportive. I really enjoy watching her videos. So please do check out her channel. I will put her information in the description below. So she tagged me to show the dents that I have made in my perfumes. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. And before we start, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I do know a lot of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And if you like my videos, please hit the like button and comment down below your perfumes that you have been using a lot. So let's start. So I have to admit that this was a bit challenging for me to select my perfumes because I have so many and some of them in my collection are maybe over 15 years old that I still have the bottles of because otherwise I've been collecting for way before that. And if I were to include all of those, I would have to do this in two parts. So I'm going to stick with the ones that are more relevant or more recent purchases and those that I have been wearing over the last several months. So let's start. First up is Ijol from Lancome. I have used this one quite a bit, as you can see. This is relatively new in my collection and I have been obsessing over rose fragrances and I quite enjoy Lancome's take on rose. I have Tresor, which I absolutely love. But while that one is a timeless, elegant perfume, this one is way more modern, a bit more playful. And the rose here is quite sweet and jammy. And the dry down is what I really like in this perfume. And I have mentioned that quite often on my videos. The dry down is very woody, it's dry, it's sweet, and it's rosy and very pretty. But this is a cheaper fragrance, but it's a very modern cheaper. And it easily goes from day to night. And I think it's an all year fragrance, quite versatile. Next up is Gabrielle Essence from Chanel. Now this is one of those perfumes where the flanker is way better than the original, at least for me. It's a beautiful musky floral fragrance. I am not very fond of musk in my fragrances and I think in the original one the musk was quite strong. But this one is very beautifully blended. It's quite gorgeous, smells very elegant, quite long lasting. Again, it goes quite easily from day to night. I've worn it to work, I've worn it to special occasions. I think this one is an all year fragrance, a bit more elegant and a bit more dressed up but still it can be worn as an everyday fragrance very versatile like all of the chanel fragrances you can tell that they are chanel I mean, there is something common in them but this one smells quite distinct and yet very beautiful the musk is so well done the florals and fruits are so well blended it just smells very sophisticated and it's quite luminous as well very dressed up fragrance and this one is quite strong. You don't need too many sprays. And despite that, I have used up quite a bit of it. I really do enjoy wearing this and I really love it. A really beautiful one that surprisingly does not get much talked about. Next up is Dior Essence from Dior. I've talked about this perfume quite a bit on my channel. And that's because it's such a gorgeous fragrance. It's spicy, it's green, woody and powdery. And I think it certainly has way more than three notes that I mentioned. But if there are just three notes, then I think it's a beautifully blended masterpiece. I love wearing this on its own and I also like to layer it with another fragrance that I'm about to show you. So the next one is Diorama from Dior. Now this one is one of the most seductive perfumes in my collection. This one is a gorgeous, peachy, animalic chypre. It has an incredible effect on me. It is so luscious and juicy. It makes me want to bite into something. And I don't mean in a food hungry kind of way, but more like a lustful bite. The cumin here is just outstanding. It is one of the best cumin fragrances that I have. I mean, cumin is a very risky note to have in a fragrance. It can very quickly become like really bad body odor. But in this, it is very, very seductive. And just to tame this one down, I sometimes layer it with this. And together they do create a really beautifully exceptional fragrance. But this one I do enjoy and love a little bit more than this one, as you can tell. Next fragrance that I use a lot is Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum. Now this is a really gorgeous, very strong perfume. It's very long lasting. The Ylang Ylang in here is quite strong along with Rose and Jasmine. It's a very powdery fragrance, almost smells like baby powder in the dry down. 
and actually I didn't like this one at first but now I absolutely love it. It is an evening perfume, it is also a work perfume, it's a special occasion perfume so I think it is quite versatile although I may not wear it on a really hot summer day when I'm out and about but I might wear it on a summer cool evening so I still think it's quite versatile and this is such a classic, it's so elegant, so feminine and yet quite bold at the same time. I think it takes a certain kind of personality to pull this off. This one just makes me feel so special. It is such a classic and a really gorgeous fragrance. Next up is Light Blue. This was relatively new in my collection and I have used it quite a bit during the summer. Now this is such an easy grab in the summer for me. I wore it a lot last year. It's a very refreshing, fresh perfume beautiful lemons and green apple and cedar with rose and jasmine and it just smells really amazing it's a bit sweet it's bright it's citrusy it's a bit aquatic it just feels very cooling and refreshing on a hot summer day and i just love it but i think next time i'm going to go for the intense version because this one does not last very long so i have to keep reapplying it next one is l'empératrice 3 from dolce and gabbana so this is a watermelon and guava fragrance. It's very aquatic, fruity and juicy. I was deciding between this and Chanel Chanson Tendre, which I am running out of. And I was shopping with my daughter that day and she loved this one because it's so sweet and fruity. We didn't even try the Chanel Eau Tendre. And I also liked it. I think I must have been quite hungry when I picked this. They say one shouldn't go grocery shopping when hungry, but I say that one should not go perfume shopping when one is hungry because you end up buying stuff that you may not like, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this one does get a bit too fruity for my liking at times, but when it's really hot, this one does feel very refreshing and cooling, like a quenching your thirst and hunger kind of a way. This is a very girly, fruity, aquatic fragrance. It smells deliciously refreshing and cooling and it's great for summer. The only thing is this doesn't last very long so I have to carry it and it's a pretty heavy bulky bottle. This one is 100ml size so I have to decant it I guess. Next up is La Fille de Perla from Serge Loutens. As you can see that I have caused a bit of a dent here as well. Now I have really been enjoying this fragrance. It's a dark rose fragrance. The rose here is quite dusty, thorny rose. It's a very sweet and peppery rose as well. I have reviewed this fragrance, so I'm not going to go into too many details. I will link the video up here. Next is C from Armani. This is a very warm, cozy, lovely perfume. I was quite obsessed with it when I had purchased it. It's a very easy grab in the cool weather for me. It easily goes from day to night. It's great for work. The sweetness here is not too overwhelming if you are averse to gourmet fragrances like me. It's a very comforting perfume. It's very warm. You feel cozy. And the dry down is a very soft woody vanilla. I just love wearing it on a really cold day. Next up is Grand Soir from Maison Francis Coxian. I have really been enjoying this fragrance of late because this is such a rich, voluptuous amber and vanilla fragrance. It's quite beautifully done and it's quite strong, so you don't need a lot of sprays. Otherwise, it gets a bit too strong. It is a special occasion perfume and I love that it's unisex so my husband and I can share it. It's a really beautiful and elegant amber fragrance. Next up is Bala Versailles from Jean Tepré. Now, this is a really gorgeous, sweet, floral, animalic fragrance. It's quite smoky, quite resinous, very woody and ambery. This is a fall and winter fragrance and this one goes easily from day to night. It is so beautiful but it does smell quite vintage. So you have to really like heavy animalic orientals to like this one. In fact, it reminds me of a doctor's clinic that I used to visit as a child. And there were all these shops around it that had incense burning. And so this one smells like a mix of incense and medicine. So probably not everyone's cup of tea. And maybe that's why I like it because it does evoke childhood memories. It's very strong and long lasting and still I have caused quite a dent in this one because I have really been enjoying wearing it. It's a beautiful fragrance if you like these kind of fragrances. 
Next up is Shalimar from Gehla. This one is such a stunner. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's so smoky, so animalic and very spicy. This one is such a classic. But the last few months I have used this one to layer it with other flankers that I got of this one. Like Souffle de Parfum, Souffle Intense and Souffle de Lumière. And I have mentioned that in my previous videos as well, that this one smells really quite elegant, very rich and deliciously sensuous. It's a very dark, deep, velvety, powdery and woody fragrance and it's very seductive as well. This is a fall and winter fragrance for me. It is also a special occasion for me, although I do wear it during the day and I've worn it to work. And it's definitely a unisex fragrance. And last up I have here is Jour d'Hermès. Now this is a really crisp, sharp, citrusy floral perfume. The grapefruit here is so strong, it adds a bit of bitterness to it that I really enjoy. I think it adds some dimension to it. And this one glistens and sparkles throughout the day. It's really quite beautiful. It's almost like, you know, you have sun shining through flowing water. That's how it smells to me. And it's a really beautiful spring fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous. So that was it guys, these were the fragrances that I do have a dent in. Please let me know what is it you've been using and if there are any fragrances that you have caused significant dents in. And if you haven't already done this tag, please consider yourself tagged. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.